Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's continue where we left. We finished creating our entities. Now we are going to continue with the repository layer. Let's create a structure first. We need um, context, so I'm going to write here with context, oops, sorry, context and add a new folder we need configurations configurations delete configurations and we need seeding we're going to use that data seed to to I mean while we're creating our database we're going to seed some data to work on is a kind of sample data at actually I can use data seed in a configuration but um, I prefer keep them separate um, extensions at repositories repositories yep and we're going to add unit of work i'm gonna i'm gonna extend everything just let's go step by step let's start with the configuration actually i'm going to use data seed and configuration together i'm going to delete it yeah configuration yeah start with the context first first i change my mind let's i need to show something different before configuration so are we going to jump to the configuration straight away after we finish the context so um app db context always try to use a custom names because if you use a db context the system already has a name as a, like a db context so there, it, it might be conflict again until you find that to problem uh, it, it takes two time guys so just try to use a different a custom name We're going to use a identity library. So we have two type of context. First of is DB context, and the other one is the for identity IDB. It must be IDB context, something like that. So there is a DB context for the identity. We're going to switch our DB context, but for now I'm not going to use identity. Let's go go with the normal one, DB context so there is no db context right we have to load into the framework core i'm just find the install latest version because i'm using the latest version version of um library so i mean framework so i just make it quickly all right we added db context let's create constructor empty and the empty one and the normal one where is the constructor the options one so keep keep them here just in case all right next we're going to add our tables here public db set home page This name comes with automatically and always try to always use the default names and it just add an extra S. It just makes plural. Public DB set about us. But there is two about us, so I'm gonna change the name I guess. About
and about the, I'm always trying to use the default not to get not to get any any error message or something db set category categories db set sorry public what's the next yeah contact us there is another problem just make contact once I change it there is is there any um, category is there any relation based yeah about us you see that I make it about yeah check them all again is there any changes here no it's all good yeah let's get back the context category contact because every property we write here it means it's repres it's representative of our tables in S ms sql so we add our classes i mean entities here and our entities has our own property these are the columns and this is the tables so you can you can keep your mind like that contact Tax get set public db set home page already done let's bring it here public db set portfolio portfolio paste now always always use the same pattern so if you forget the name of something you can figure it out if you use the same template for the names services why wow, is that coming services service no there is no a service just service yeah DB set social media social media then team and testimonial public DB set team And public DB set testimonial all right all done now we ha we should add our um MSSQL path normally uh if I forget how to write it, I can, I can take some help. I'm still, I'm still looking my previous project. I recommend you to always look, keep your previous project like a library, and when you need it, just take, take a look. On model creating must be that one. Yes, and I guess. We're doing like model builders and what was apple compilation from assembly yep assembly we're adding assembly i'm going to explain what what is what is meaning assembly yeah assembly edit get execution assembly yes perfect so what is the assembly meaning guys assembly means is the entity is one an assembly current layer is another assembly repository is an assembly so 
get executing assembly means we getting this assembly so this is catching the current assembly when one once we catch the repository layer as an assembly apply the configurations we are going to apply all config configurations it doesn't matter how many configurations we have in this repository layer it's all applies so I'm going to add some configuration here right now and this code going to find them and apply our configuration normally why, why, why I'm writing this normally to add some configuration to our properties like for example model builder entity for example I choose about um, sorry about I'm going to add for example for example is required no property let's let's select a property okay X for example I'm going to make some specification about the description column it's required it, it means it has to be added it has to have a value so it's a fluent API so we can add how many configuration we have after is required I'm going to add has um, max length for example 200 so it is allowed to use 200 characters so I'm adding configurations here but just imagine we I have nine different table and every every table has about five or seven or six it depending on your project columns so it's about the 72 70 something like that more line here so it's all messed up and you cannot concentrate while you're doing any any changes any any amending so we are taking our course from here to create a new configuration file and we are keep our configuration separate for each class for each entity all right i'm gonna delete it now okay perfect uh, let me check is there any is there any different detail do we have this is my previous project and I always checking and I'm gonna check it now anything else do we need constructor yeah that's all that's all okay perfect lovely so we finished creating our DB context after we're going to start uh, create our configuration let's finish this lesson here next lesson we're going to start create our configurations guys see you later bye bye